Hey everyone, welcome to our weekly update. We have an important announcement to make today for you. And this announcement also relates to the devotion that we'll be going through as we journey through the Psalms and the songs of ascent in the book of Psalms. But first, uh, we restarted our kids ministry and youth ministry on Friday night and uh, they restarted well. So firstly, a shout out to the team that made that all happen. Uh, we're proud of you that you did that well. Everyone was safe and uh, our systems are being checked and working, so that was great to see. And then secondly, thank you to those that came. And uh, we want to remind you that we have restarted Kids Club, so grades fives and sixes from half past five, and then youth, I think that is from half past seven, just confirm that with your leader, half past seven on Friday night for the youth. So come along to that, come and join in. They had a good time, I believe. Secondly, the important announcement for you. Uh, we uh, announced a couple of weeks ago that we were leaning toward opening, reopening in-person church on the 16th of August. And uh, that announcement was before the uh, second wave of COVID in Victoria. And also as we look at what God is doing globally, there, there is a moment when we're sensing we need to pause as a church. And we understand God's doing something new. That's what we're sensing. That's what we're hearing from even people um, overseas. And what we've seen globally is as people could have come back and have come back, the numbers have been a lot lower. And uh, what has happened is we believe COVID has accelerated. Uh, those who wanted to leave the church at some point, it's accelerated that. And so really what we're looking at for the church of the future, there will be some changes. We will find a church that's going to look different. We will find it uh, perhaps a more of a committed group who come together and be together. So we're in this moment where we're pressing into God. And so we as a leadership team, we met on Saturday and we prayed this through and we all sense, or it was on Sunday, and we all sense that God is wanting us to wait on him and to hear from him because he's doing something new. Our temptation is to rush back, rush back to what we knew in the past. But what we're sensing, while there's some good from the past, we're also sensing God is doing something new. So we want you to join with us uh, as we press in and pray and wait on God. And again, as leaders, we're going to take the whole day on Saturday to do that. But on Sunday, this is where you can join us. On Sunday, we are going to open the church after the online service. So from 10.30 onwards, it'll be open and we'll start a corporate prayer meeting here in the main auditorium from quarter to 11 until quarter to 12. And so you can come those first 15 minutes. It'll be a quiet environment for you to come and still yourself before God. Why don't you join us um, in person if you can or at home if you can't and pray into this space about waiting on God and hearing his voice, sensing those promptings through his word and in your heart. And if you're at home and you're joining within, uh, in with us on, in prayer, please uh, send in uh, email to us the promptings you have in your heart about what God is saying to you and scriptures in particular that you believe are pertinent for us right now. We do get that people are missing corporate worship and a community. We get that. I, I feel that too. But what we don't want to do is rush back and, and then, um, number one, miss what God's doing, but also rush back and then have to reset a whole lot of things and keep going backwards and forwards. So as we journey together, please press into this with us and pray with us. And we do know that God has got this, but we do know we need to be flexible. And so... Join with us on Sunday in prayer. In Psalm 123, which is a psalm of ascent, and there are 15 of them, and we've been journeying through that over the last few weeks. And really it's a journey for somebody who's following God and wanting to know more of God. And this person heading toward Jerusalem on their upward journey in faith. The, the first psalm of ascent starts out in Psalm 120 with this repentance. The person saying, I'm living among these people who don't follow you, God. Help me. And then it journeys. And, and the person, last week we found this person standing in Jerusalem and this, this time of worship and recognizing we created to connect with God in worship. But the next psalm, Psalm 123, speaks into where we're at. It speaks into this waiting on God and this dependence on God. Because as we'll see in the psalm, the world is going crazy around this person. They feel oppressed. They feel uh, being torn and, and, and pushed in all sorts of directions. And the person is going to lead us into a sense of dependence on God. So journey with me through the psalm. Psalm 123. I lift my eyes to you, 
to you who sit enthroned in heaven, as the eyes of the slave look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of the female servant or slave look to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to you, Lord our God, till he shows us his mercy. His mercy on us, sorry, have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy on us, for we have endured no end of contempt. We have endured no end of ridicule from the arrogant of the contempt of the proud. Psalmist is saying here, Lord, I look to you. I lift my eyes to you. This world around me there is filled with people who ridicule us or have contempt toward us. And perhaps in, in this COVID world, the, the tensions that we feel and people, the, the uncertainty we feel. This person is saying here, Lord, we lift our eyes, our eyes to you. We look to you as a, as a servant would look to their master, to the master's hand. And, and this is not a a psalm where the master is going to command the servant. This is a, the, the servant is watching the master's hand to see the direction that the master wants to give the servant. See, the psalms is not a book of instruction. The psalm is an illustration of someone who follows God. It simply gives us a window into what does the person look like? What does the person do? What does the person do who follows God? and wants to know God? What does a disciple of Jesus look like? What does that person look like who's following Jesus in this long obedience in the same direction as Eugene Peterson reminds us? What does that person look like? And here this person is waiting on God in this time of turmoil and saying, God, I look to you to trust you. And that's hard. Let's be honest. That's hard because we, I want to take action. I want to do something but just to pause and say, God, we'll trust you. Would you show us the way? Lord, we think we know the way, and, and, but we want you to tell us. And we want you to show us. And we're waiting on you like this person who waits on their master to point the way. Lord, we're waiting on that. And so it ties right into where we're at as a church, even globally, as we wait on God to say, God, show us your direction. Show us what you're doing. We trust in you like this person who waits before God. As you journey with us, would you take that step this week to do something practical, to wait on God. Join us on Sunday as we do that. In the meantime, wait on God for yourself and for your family and for your situation and say, Lord, I feel anxious. And last week we were reminded by the sons of Korah, they did that so well. They said the Psalms for us is this journey from chaos or anxiety or uncertainty to this place of peace. And Lord, we feel this journey. We feel that anxiety. We feel the tension. But right now, I'm going to be dependent on you. I'm going to trust you. I'm going to press into you. And so let's hold that tension this week as we wait on God. I expect God is going to show us and lead us and nudge us in the right direction because he cares about us. He has us in his hands. He has this world in his hands and he's taking us forward. The kingdom of God is advancing around us. We hear stories of that all around us. And so we're thankful for that. I'm going to pray for you and let's press into God as we trust him. Father, we thank you that we can trust you. And we thank you, Lord, that we have all sensed as leaders in the church that we need to pause. Instead of rushing ahead to what we wish is a return to how it was in the past, to what we know, there is the sense, Lord, we are pausing and need to pause because you are wanting to show us something. And Lord, in this moment, in this tension, Lord, we trust you and let that bring perfect peace. And Lord, we pray, help us to exercise our faith in you, even now, because of Jesus, because you're helping us through your spirit, quiet our hearts, give us this deep, certain faith that you know the way, that you'll lead us, that you won't let us go, that you have a bright future for us. And so, Lord, as we journey through the Psalms of Ascent, we'll see next week that you are a God who brings deliverance. You're our protector. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Goodbye. We'll see you next week.